Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Science. If you have been following the world of AI and language models, you have probably heard of LLM, those big, powerful models that can generate text, summarize content, answer questions, and more. But guess what? Meta AI proposes a new method for the models, which is the Large Concept Models LCM. And these are about to shake things up. So let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about LLMs first. Now, these models, which are called LLMs, these are the gold standard in AI for handling text. Now, how do they work? They work by processing information token by token. Basically, they predict the next word in a sentence one at a time. And while that works for a lot of tasks, it's not the way that humans think or operate. And how a person called Yu Shin Jin on X, he said that, I am more and more confident that tokenization will be gone because humans don't think in tokens. Tokens are actually the hard-coded abstractions in LLMs that lead to weird behavior in the AI models. Because how the LLMs you see can solve the PhD level math questions but cannot answer the question which is said that is 9.9 .9 more than 9.11. And how you see now Meta is shifting from LLMs to LCM with the large concept model. And it would change the next token prediction to next concept prediction. And here the concept is treated as a sentence. Instead of the word, they will understand the sentence representing the abstract idea or action. So his intuition says that LCM is probably better at reasoning and modality. So here in this blog, researchers at Meta AI have proposed a new approach which is called large concept models. So these concept models, large concept models, they're higher level units of meaning. Think of them like the building blocks of ideas, like sentences or even larger chunks of meaning. And how these concepts are language agnostic means they work across multiple languages and modalities, whether it's text, speech, you name it. This is a huge deal because it opens the door to models that can handle so much more than just text. Like imagine being able to translate between languages and mods seamlessly without needing to train on each new. In LLMs, what they used to do? First of all, they had to train on one specific language and for another, they had to train for another specific language. And it was like harder to go from one language to another language. Whereas in LCM, it is easier to translate between another languages or different languages. It is easy because the model just understands the meaning behind it or it understands the sentences or something like that because this new architecture, which is called large concept model. And what? why is this different from LLM? Let me tell you in this. So at the core of this LCM model is called sonar. Now, this is a high dimensional embedding space. It's actually the supercharged version of the traditional model, but instead of working with tokens, because tokens, they deal with a single word. And here it is dealing with entire concepts and concepts means these sentences. It will deal with sentencing and the larger. And these concepts could be anything from a full sentence to an idea or action. And Sonar supports over 200 languages and it can work with both text and speech. Pretty cool, right? So how do these LCMs actually work. So they use something called auto regressive sentence prediction. So instead of predicting one word at a time, these models predict entire sentences in this higher level concept space. And to make this happen, they use concept encoders and decoders. Let me show you the map of this, like the model of this. So there's an encoder here in this picture, there's a concept encoder. And there's a concept decoder in the large concept model. And here these two are fixed, means these will not change throughout the process. It would be fixed. And to make this happen, what they will do? They, the encoder will map it to the sonar space and the decoder will take the concept and translate it back to natural language or any other modality. And one of the best part is that these concepts the concept decoder and the concept encoder are frozen 
they said that it's frozen means it's fixed they do not change and once they are trained they can be reused and adapted to different languages or modality without having to retrain the whole model like how flexible is this and another big step forward with lcm is there a hierarchical architecture means instead of processing everything in one go this architecture it mimics how we humans think means it will start with big ideas and then refine them down which will allow the lcm to generate the longer form context without losing their coherence and then there is the diffusion based generation model so meta ai tested two types the one tower model where a single transformer does both the encoding and the denoising and there is a two tower model also in which they split those tasks into separate towers and if we talk about the result of it or the experiment results of this when we go to this research paper of the large concept models so the result is that meta ai actually trained a 1.6 billion parameter model here it is written 1.6 billion parameter model and training data with 1.3 trillion tokens so 1.3 trillion tokens was the training data and they didn't stop there they actually scaled it up to model size of 7 billion parameters here and the training data was about 2.7 trillion tokens this allowed them to test lcms on tasks like summarization and a new task called summary expansion and guess what the lcms actually outperformed the traditional models especially when it came to zero shot generalization now what does zero shot generalization means actually it means that lcm can handle tasks in languages they've never seen before like if the language they have not seen before they can handle those tasks in those languages and you don't need any training no retraining needed and this makes them incredibly efficient and adaptable which is a huge win over the traditional token based models means in contrast to the llm this is better and it's efficient and adaptable and why does this lcm matter so why should we care about lcm now ll so well they tackle some of the biggest issues in the traditional llms so first of all lcm which is the large concept models they are actually here if you see there why lcm is better than the llm what does llm has the problem that lcm can solve so first of all they are more scalable they are more efficient and they generalize better means they generalize better across languages and modalities plus their ability to process language at a concept level instead of a token level brings them a step closer to how humans actually think and communicate and to wrap it all up meta ai's large concept models is actually a game changer with their high level semantic representations and the flexibility to work across different languages and modalities means in text or speech so they can take the input as speech or text the modalities so they're definitely the future of ai powered communication and the best part these models can handle longer context zero shot tasks and even cross language communication without breaking a sweat so thanks for hanging out today and diving into the world of lcms with me if you found this interesting give a thumbs up subscribe for more ai insights and leave a comment with your thoughts do you think lcms are the future catch you next time bye bye